My name's Danielle, and today I'm going to show you how to make this flute, cute little patchwork elephant named Elmer from the book by David McCree. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to gather is your colored paper. You could use tissue paper, or in my case I've used colored paper, construction paper because that's what I have. Any kind of paper would do. In my case, I've gathered the original colors for Elmer white, pink, orange, green, blue, purple, and black, but your colors can be whatever they want to be. You're going to need glue. I've got a stick of glue, but you could also use the liquid glue. You're going to need a little bit of tape, some scissors, and something to draw on your jug with. Make sure that your jug has a handle for the elephant's nose. The first thing I'm going to do is cut my jug down to the size that I want it to be. You can follow my lines or make it whatever shape that you like. And this is, we're drawing on this so that we're able to cut it out and stay on track for how it's going to be. My elephant's going to be very short because my handle is very short. Make sure that we have the spot for legs. Before we begin cutting, we're going to draw on our elephant ears. And our ears can be whatever shape they want them to be. But as you're drawing, make sure you leave some kind of flap because we're going to have to bend that so that we can stick it onto the jug once it's done. Okay, I have finished cutting out my elephant. He has his trunk and legs all the way around. And these are his two ears. And these are the flaps I was talking about. We'll need something to put the tape down so that they can go on him. The next thing I'm going to show you is a little trick for a quick way to cut out squares out of whatever paper you're choosing to do. We're going to fold it in half once in a hot dog style. And then we're going to do it again folding towards the center. So that now we're going to have four equal sections and we can cut along those lines. Now that we have four equal sections, we pile them up, make them nice and even, and then as far along as it is this way, we're going to go this way. And now I'm going to do that to all the other colors. Okay, I've now cut out all of my colors, but the next thing that we're going to need to do before we start gluing them on is making sure that our elephant has eyes. You can use googly eyes, but since I don't have any googly eyes, I'm going to make the whites of his eyes, and then out of a black one, I'm going to make little pupils for those whites. Once they're cut out, take your glue and just put them on. Ta-da! Now we have elephant eyes. All right, we are ready to start gluing papers onto the plastic elephant. Oh, look, it kind of looks like a smiley face. Anyway, so all you have to do to do that is Smear your glue onto your elephant ears and just lay down your papers. Now 
Now after I've done this, I'm going to show you something that I've decided to do to make things easier for me and make them look more like the elephant ears that we've cut out. What we're going to do is we're going to go around and cut off the axis so that when it turns back around, it's in the shape of an elephant ear. Okay, now that we have our elephant ears, we're going to tape them onto our elephant. I'm going to tape mine right here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take just a bit of tape, put it on here, turn it around, put it on my elephant. Ta-da! Now we have elephants, elephant ears. And by doing that first, we're going to be able to cover up this white part with the paper that we stick on, which I'm going to begin now. I'm going to start putting it down in the back at the bottom so that as we layer them, they will go on top of it. I think that'll make it look better, but you can do whatever you want. Once you're put, finished putting all your little papers on your elephant, it should look something like this, but in your own shape, color, and size. And the last thing that we have to do is put our eyeballs on. All you're going to do is put a little bit of glue on the back side of each of them. And here's Elmer.